Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. I'm out here in Lake St. Clair and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be running flexi jigs and we're going to be jigging off the bottom with twister tails and little shad type baits looking for bass, walleye or muskie. All three species out here. Don't know which ones we're going to hook into but hopefully we'll get into at least some bass or even some walleye today. We're going to be fishing sparse weed cover and just jigging these jigs off, these flexi jigs off the bottom. And we've got a little bit of wind upon us today. So short casts. And we've got two drift socks off to the back of the boat. And that's gonna slow our drift up. And we're fishing where we're going, not where we've been. And just little tosses out and jigging off the bottom. That's all we're gonna be doing. Working these shallow, shallow weeds in, in 10 feet of water and looking for bass or walleye out here on Lake St. Clair. So stay tuned folks, we're looking to have a great time on the water. There's a nice small boat there folks. What a good hit that was. He just hit it on the way down. Oh, it's not a bad fish. He's strong too, for his what size. Is it? It's a small boat. You wanna land him? Yeah. Okay. There he comes, Chanel. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, wait a second. There he is, there he is, there he is. Nice, there you go. In the bag. Look at that hook set. See that hook set? That's what these flexi jigs are all about. Okay, let's get that out. Decent smallie. Okay, back in he goes. If you've never seen these flexi jigs, the whole advantage of them is that they, they spring down on the hook set and then when you're done, they spring back up in action. But because they spring down, they allow you for a perfect hook set each and every time. It's outstanding that way. And all I'm doing, I love fishing these sparse weeds. I get my line down there and because they're sparse weeds, you can work these jigs through the weeds, just lift it up, let it fall down. And if you feel a weed, all I'm doing is just kind of jerking it out and letting it fall back down again. And a lot of times too, the bass or the walleye, they'll see that little jerk of that coming out of the wheat bed there and, uh, and they'll attack it. And the other thing is, I took a look at the map last night and I found this zone uh, that's got sparse weeds in it because I haven't spent a lot of time out here on Lake St. Clair. And uh, checking out the map, found this spot with the sparse weed and we're working this, it's a whole flat, it's a weed flat area here. Now if you don't have a weed flat or sparse weeds in your area, typically if you've got weed beds, on the outside of the weed beds, as the weed bed goes into deeper water, the weeds usually sparse out. And when they sparse out, you can work them very, very nicely with a jig, just as I'm doing today. If you get a little weed, clean it up, toss it back out there again. Nice little tosses, just like so. Working these weeds, I love it. Walleye. You know what? Maybe? It is a walleye. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Ooh, there we go. That's a good sign. Hey, there we go. Yeah. I knew it wasn't oh, a smallie. Yeah. yeah, I knew it wasn't a smallie because he didn't jump. Look at that. Wow. Nice hook set. There's a nice Lake St. Clair flexi jig walleye right there. Beautiful. Oh, there's a nice fish. He's, he's taking you for a run. Never. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, Better not be a seaweed. I think you got a muskie. That, that, that to me is a muskie, and if oh, it, no, it's someone else's line. oh, that's my my line. That's okay. <laughs> okay. I left my rod in the water. Yeah, he's still, he's deep. Now, if you got a muskie, Rob, you got to be careful with that flexi oh, I jig. I see him. I see this guy. Oh, it's a bass. Is that what that is? It's. I think it's a bass. I just saw some brown in the water. Awesome. Oh, you got a. No, you got a. You got a sheep head. You got a sheep head. Oh, sheep head. That's not a muskie. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a sheep head. What a fight, Rob. Uh, all that for that. All that for a sheep head. All that excitement. We thought you had a muskie. Oh, well. Well, at least I caught something. You did. You know what, folks? When you're jigging like this in the weeds, it's so important to have that jig on the bottom. And all I'm doing, like I say, lifting it up and let it go back down again. And if you see your line twitch a little bit, or if you see it jump to the side, 
or suddenly stop or if you feel any weight on the bottom or you're just not sure when in doubt just set the hook any of those situations just set the hook you're better off to set the hook and bring it in to see that it's a weed than you are not to set the hook at all got another screamer on Whoa. he didn't jump so chances are it's not a bass it might be another one of those sheep heads. Oh, did you see a glimpse? Yep. I think it's another sheep head. <laughs> and a sheep head that's peeling drag. If it was a smallmouth Chanel, it would have jumped by now. Yeah? Oh yeah. Well, what are our other options? <laughs> Just a sheep head? It's probably a sheep head. It could be a muskie, but I have a feeling it's a sheep head. Okay. There it is, and it's a sheep head. You're right. Okay. Can you net or no? Yeah, go ahead. Yep. You can net them. Kind of heavy to lift them in. There you go. Oh, no. First try. <laughs> I'm improving. There you go. Oh, another big one. Another big sheep head right there. Boy, are they Look ever strong. They're strong. Yeah. The other thing I'm doing, folks, I'm running 10 pound test braided line. Absolutely love that with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. I can feel absolutely everything. And working these. Weed flats, folks, it's a lot of fun. As you can tell, we're catching a variety of fish today, bass, walleye, even sheephead. You never know what you're gonna catch fishing those low lying weeds. If you get an opportunity, folks, get out there, find some sparse weed cover, get yourself some jigs, flexi jigs, put some plastics on, work the bottom, and you should be in for a good day in the water. We got a full day ahead of us today. We're looking for a great time. I wanna thank you so much for tuning into today's episode of Thunderman's Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck. Good fishing.